Have you ever had the experience, after learning something new, that you seem to notice it everywhere? Maybe you learnt a new word, one you're sure you've never heard before, only to find it popping up throughout your daily life. Being a psychologist, I wanted to explore this further and began introducing my three-year-old to new topics, keen to see a reaction. This bird is a rainbow lorikeet, I told her. See the little brush at the tip of its tongue? She began to notice them everywhere. Could it really be this easy? The neuroscience was saying the reason it's easy is because young children are in a sensitive period for language development, when picking up new vocabulary comes naturally. If this is true, then why aren't we making the most of the sensitive period? Why aren't we generating interest in a broad range of topics? Twenty years later, my research exploring interest and awareness in the early years is almost complete. I had many questions. Would it work in a classroom with a group of five-year-olds? What topics should we focus on? What about big picture topics like space and arachnids and even quantum physics? Don't you wish you knew what quantum physics was at age five? Think how much you would now know about it. During the research process, a play-based program was designed over a period of three years at a preschool. The factors impacting the interest were identified. Factors such as being aware of the optimum engagement times with the different components, which for teacher talk is no longer than this three-minute speech. Using large realistic images and short bits of interesting information. Getting the parents involved making an emotional connection with the topic because compassion can be taught and always including humour. Yes, it is possible to make even quantum physics funny and engaging for five-year-olds. It was found that interest is indeed key to learning. It leads to awareness, allowing new knowledge to flow in, leading to even further interest and creating a positive cycle of learning. Early interest in big picture topics gives them an advantage, an understanding of how the world works and many starting points for later learning. It is my hope that everyone will realise the value of early interest, especially in big picture topics, and maybe change the way we look at early childhood education.